Hi folks and welcome to another edition of Alistair and Gregor's Veg Garden. It's 14th of January, so it's quite a few weeks since we did the last video. Not much is happening. Um, as most of you know, I have me cancer. Uh, doing well. The lump in my neck's come down a bit, so that's good news at the moment. So I uh, haven't done very much uh, in the garden at all. Uh, really, virtually nothing, really just watering the giant onions so I had big plans to do um, new um, raised beds I'd hoped that maybe me I would be fit enough to do them by now but no I don't think don't think they I don't think we're going to have a big year in the garden this time I think it's going to be just sort of uh, the giant onions maybe some carrots and some stuff in the greenhouse I think is all that, that because I really want to make a big difference in with the raised beds uh, so that's going to take quite some time, so I've sort of missed the sort of uh, the point where I really need to get things started growing. So, um, just outside there, as you probably just can see, we've just got the remains of the parsnips. So what am I doing today? I need to plant on um, the giant onions, So because I'm going to still try the giant onions. So let me just show you um, what sort of stage we're at. So we've got, the roots are starting to come out the bottom. So there we go. So we're going to plant them on. I've got to make them a mix. Um, what I've also done is I've just sorted out the uh, growing cabinets inside the greenhouse. I got the um, the uh, little heater on, so that warms that up. So the ones that aren't to go inside the grow cabinet, the inside grow cabinet, the other ones will just go out there. So we'll see what we get with them. So what I'm just going to do is I've got to make up some more seed compost. Uh, things like that so what I'm just going to do is uh, just pause it uh, and then I'll come back to you in a minute folks so folks hi I'm just doing the compost mix so I just wanted to show you what I've got so here I've got compost about two parts compost to one part I use vermiculite some people use perlite um, I might try perlite in a different year but I've got still got a big bag of fine uh, vermiculite so we'll continue using it so Say two part compost, one part vermiculite. What else would we be doing? We're going to put in some Eco Thrive char, so we'll just do that just now. Just to mix some of it in. Yep, like that. Um, we'll put a little bit of calcified seaweed. Like that, that'll do. Uh, the thing that we, one thing that we'll do at, at the bottom of the pot, so um, these are the size of pots we're going to be using, um, is we're going to put some Mycorrhizal fungi. So a little bit of that, just a little bit in the bottom that helps the roots create a sort of fungus growth so you actually get a lot better growth on them. So what I'm just going to do, I'll just I'll you don't want to watch me mixing this, you've probably seen it tons of times. So what I'm just going to do is just going to mix this all up, get it all combined, and then what I'll do is and then I'll start putting the onions up into the these new side pots. I don't know if it stays on them. Oh they're one litre on the bottom. You can see that one. See, these are one litre pots, and we'll get probably about three, maybe four on each of the trays. So uh, that's probably fine. And, and then what we'll do is we'll, well, I'll show you at the end what we've what we've done, and I'll give you updates on other stuff that we're planning to do. So bear with me, folks. So here we go, folks. We've planted uh, in here. There will be um, eight, which are the eight best ones so you can see there let's just go a little bit further I can't open this the left door quite as wide as it so there we go I'll show you in a little minute uh, the, uh, where the rest of them are gone but these have been planted on into the one litre pots um, as I said in the book before I put I put uh, some compost in the bottom of the pot before I transplanted from the other pots I put a little bit of the mycorrhizal fungi in the bottom and we'll leave them to do their bit, giving them a good water just to, from the bottom, just to encourage the roots to, 
to head in that direction. Before we go, I'm just going to show you some a change that I've just got. Um, uh, where's the box for it? Uh, I thought my uh, temperature um, gadget was was wrong, so um, so I bought one of these, a wireless thermometer. So we've got actually that that plugged in on the the adapter at the side. Uh, and we've got dust down here, we've got the little here. So currently I've got it set at 20, I don't know. We'll try it 18, I think 18 might be. A, oh, just put it there. So, so that would be the temperature. Set target is 18, currently 12.2, but that's because the door's open, so it's, it will be struggling to to uh, heat. So, so we'll just close that over. So that's them. Uh, what I'll do is I'll take you and show you where the other sort of mess, folks. Let's just as you can see, with, with my illness, no, virtually nothing has been. Nothing's been done, everything's just been dumped really about. Well, let's try that again, folks. Uh, knocking, as I say, knocking everything over. So, I'll just open the, this area. Right, so, here we go. So, here's another eight. Um, so, these will be just natural light. The other ones are on 12. 12 hours on, 20 hour, 12 hours off. So this will just have the natural light coming in. Uh, all the other ones, because I'm really struggling, I don't want to get rid of stuff since I'm doing so little this year. So the other ones have just been plonked into there. And we'll just let them grow. If we get sort of small sort of bulbs, onions at the end, then that'll fine. And we'll see how these go. So these are another eight, so I've planted them. Uh, another oil filled uh, radiator here. Um, it's about 16, 15, 16 degrees in this one. So, so that's that. So, right, we're going to finish um, now. So, that's all we're done, apart from me crashing and banging everywhere. As I say, uh, the raised beds, nothing's going to happen to them probably until, I wouldn't have thought, April or May time. So, nothing's going to get planted in them for this season. So, this winter, there'll probably be no parsnips or anything like that. We might be just to place kind of teeth might be able to get some bristles done uh, but we'll wait and see uh, it all depends when i feel better and that then the work can be done for the new raised beds all right so that's it i'm going to leave you folks with um a picture of the other the second lot of of giant onions and um, thanks very much for watching subscribing thanks very much for your comments uh, and all of your best wishes that you give me um uh probably be a good few weeks before the next video um i uh, hope you're all doing well that keep watching uh, and pat spread the word folks bye just now